Welcome to Thoroughbred Action from Gulfstream Park West. I'm Ron Nicoletti. It is Thursday afternoon. Eight races to get to. Let's look at those track and weather conditions. The main track is fast. The turf course is firm. The first race, five furlongs on the turf. Maiden claimers, Phillies and Mares, three-year-olds and up. Jockey change on the two, make the rider Manuel Cruz. The off-time favorite, number 10, Savannah Grass. Racing at GPW. Good start out wide for Broadway Peggy with Golden Gem Apple moving to challenge and take over. Run Tiz Run and Bad Habit into the top flight. Long Lovely Dancer is at the rail. Followed by Savannah Grass, then Cultivation with Captain Angel toward the fence. A gap of another two to go to war ahead of Candy Tap Flower. The Gray is third last. Second last, Classy, of course, and the newcomer, Tafina, last of all as they take it to the far turn. Up front, Broadway Peggy on the outside of Golden Gem Apple, and Broadway Peggy now strides forward to take the lead. Golden Gem Apple. Apple is back to second. Long Lovely Dancer is third. Run Tiz Run fourth. Savannah Grass will have to pick it up while wide. Then it's classy, of course, and they're at the top of the stretch. Up front, Broadway Peggy tries to go it all the way. Leads now by two and a half. Long Lovely Dancer loose for the drive. Savannah Grass on the outside, but Broadway Peggy is strong up front and widens the advantage. Long Lovely Dancer is up into second and trying to get her late. Here's Long Lovely Dancer taking on Broadway Peggy. Here's the line. Broadway Peggy's hanging on. Broadway Broadway Peggy beats a game. Long Lovely Dancer, who was second, run to his run, was third. Then Savannah Grass and Cultivation. Number 11, Broadway Peggy, 0 for 18. Finally breaks Maiden and pays $12.20. Owned by Burton Buckter, trained by Hernan Para in Ridden Victory today by Santiago Gonzalez. The second race, one mile on the fast main track. These are claimants, Phillies and Mares. Three-year-olds and up. Seven runners in the field. The off-time favorite, number seven, Infinity Sky. And uh, they're off. Valerie first away well. Mambo Dancer has speed. Papa's girl moving out with Infinity Sky on the far outside. Down at the inside, that's She's No Joke into the top flight. The two at the back are Lady Player and Kind-Hearted Coda. Papa's girl put on the engine here today and leads by a length and a quarter. On the far outside, Infinity Sky is a joint second alongside Mambo Dancer. Then She's No Joke. These top four are going aggressively and they're well clear of Kind-Hearted Coda who's into fifth. Valerie first is back to sixth and Lady Player is seventh and last as they roll into the back stretch. Up front, Papa's Girl leads, but only narrowly. Right back at her now is Infinity Sky at the 5.8. Mambo Dancer is third. Back to fourth, she's no joke. Kind-hearted Coda, improving while fifth. She's drawn within four lengths of the top, four clear, Valerie first, and Lady Player is last. They go to the half-mile grounds. Infinity Sky has the lead, but she's got no breather as Mambo Dancer is up alongside second. Papa's Girl retreats to be third. Up to a joint fourth is Kind-hearted Coda outside of she's no joke. Gap of five to Lady Player and Valerie first. Three eighths of a mile remains on the outside. Mambo Dancer toward the rail. Infinity Sky, two and a half. Kind-hearted Coda with a grinding, long, sustained run, and she's still moving. Kind-hearted Coda, threat here to the top duo with a quarter of a mile left to go. Off the turn and the stretch drive. Mambo Dancer, the leader. Kind-hearted Coda unleashed down the center toward the inside. And Infinity Sky and a late run from Lady Player. There's an eighth of a mile to go. Kind-hearted Coda up on the outside of Mambo Dancer, who tries to find more. Kind-hearted Coda edging clear. Mambo Dancer is game and battling on, but Kind-Hearted Coda still is in front. Mambo Dancer a final surge. Photo finish. Mambo Dancer never backed down and she gave Kind-Hearted Coda all she wanted and third was Infinity Sky. Number two, Kind-Hearted Coda wins and gives jockey Santiago Gonzalez his second consecutive victory. The horse pays $13.80 to win. Owned by Secure Investments and trained by Antonio Sano. We're taking a break. When we come back, we'll have race number three, and that's the first leg of the Rainbow Six. The best chance for success begins with a solid foundation. At Hardacre Farm, early personal one-on-one -on -one care starts the journey to becoming a champion. Bred to leading stallions, our mares represent the highest standards. Hardacre Farm's signature in the breeding industry. Based in Ocala, Florida, breeder and owner Amy Tarrant has inspired excellence throughout her entire career. In your quest for success, start with Hardacre Farm, breeding the champions of tomorrow. Welcome back, our third race of the afternoon. Seven and one half furlongs on the turf. These are claimers, three-year-olds and upwards. Scratch the one pure luck, also scratch the old souls 12 
13, 14, and number 15. And uh, they're off. From the inside, awesome stack away quickly and up on the outside, Southern Sea is up to challenge. High rolling dude is away in third, Shidoshi out of there in fourth. In between horses, that's Lawyer Drill working three lengths ahead of Blue Sky Kitten. He's dropped over to the rail to race with Awesome Ninja and Hey Big Guy three wide. The two at the back are the Invader, Dragonov, who's dropped better than 10 lengths behind and two lengths to the trailer are Pride. Around the first turn they go after an early tussle, Awesome Stack has the lead three parts of a length. Southern Sea on the outside is second, Shidoshi is third. Good trip for Lawyer Drill, he lands an early fourth ahead of Hey Big Guy and High Rolling Dude, then American Ninja. Blue Sky Kitten is next with Barn Buddy dragging off for company and five to the trailer are Pride. They go to the half mile point. On the inside, it's Awesome Stack toward the outside, it's Southern Sea. They're still at each other and they're a half length apart, a length and a half better than Shidoshi, waiting in the wings from third. Up to fourth is Hey Big Guy getting around Lawyer Drill who's toward the rail. Three back to American Ninja, then comes Dragonov, who improves outside of High Rolling Dude. Blue Sky Kitten is just too far back to figure he makes a huge impact here. And our pride is the trailer as they run to the top of the stretch. Awesome stack and Arroyo turn first, trying to go the distance here. Off the turn by two. Down the center, Dragonov is rolling from between horses in Southern Sea. And there's an eighth of a mile to go. Dragonov down the center. Here's Dragonov surging up to take over the lead, and he'll win going away. Dragonov and Chris Christian Torres sharp in victory. They won by five in the end. Southern Sea is in a photo with Shidoshi for second. There's a cluster after that involving Lawyer Drill, American Ninja, and Awesome Stack. Number three, Dragunov scores and pays $18.20 and upsets the first leg of the Rainbow Six. Owned by Victory Stables, LLC. Trained by Armando De La Cerda and written today by apprentice Christian Torres. The fourth race, we're sprinting on the main track at five and a half furlongs. These are maiden claimers, two-year-olds. Scratch number seven, into Maragueza. And they're off. King of the Cats was actually last to get underway. First to get underway was Danzo with Strength of Gold, quickly up to challenge for the lead, and from between horses, Broadway Pete. King of the Cats comes away racing in fourth, back to fifth, an uncaptured king. Then it's Big Yes and a gap of five to Money House, who trails. They pass the half mile point and kick to the far turn. Strength of Gold has the lead by a length. Broadway Pete second, Danzo third, King of the Cats fourth. Angles for racing room ahead of Uncaptured King. Then it's a gap of another four lengths to Big Yes and still far back to Money House. Five sixteenths to go and Strength of Gold the leader. On the outside, Broadway Pete takes aim while second. Three back to King of the Cats who's an on running third. Uncaptured King on the far outside and they're at the top of the stretch. Many chances here off the turn, Strength of Gold. Here comes King of the Cats, Broadway Pete between horses, grandstand side and uncaptured King. Eighth of a mile to go, Broadway Pete now striding forward to take the lead. King of the Cats down the center and uncaptured King with strength of gold and money house on late in deep stretch. Broadway Pete will prevail. Broadway Pete by a length and a quarter. King of the Cats second, money house from a mile back for third. Uncaptured King ran fourth. Number eight, Broadway Pete gets his name in lights when he scores and pays $8.20. Owned by Ups and Downs Racing and Ernest Cox, trained by Rohan Crichton, win the victory today by Jeffrey Sanchez. We'll take a short break. When we come back, we'll have race number five. Welcome back, our fifth race of the afternoon. One mile and one sixteenth on the turf. These are claimers, Phillies three-year-olds, or Phillies and mares four and up, which have never won two races. Scratch the number 11, Jolie Bay. And they're off. 
Helen was away cleanly enough toward the inside bright side of the road with tactical foot. Far outside of Anita Manana moving up. In between horses, Elite Appeal and looking like a queen won't be far away as they run out of the chute. And a surprise move, bright side of the road has made the lead here. On the outside, Elite Appeal is second toward the inside looking like a queen is alongside of Anita Manana. Then down at the inside, free to fly ahead of Night Watch. Helen is mid-flight. She's about five lengths behind while racing in the two-path. A length better than for kicks with lot in condition now toward the rail and then it's a gap of two to the trailer is adorable aida around the first turn they go and bright side of the road and christian torres trying a new tactic today they're cutting out the fractions with a half a length advantage on the outside is elite appeal second avenida manana third looking like a queen is at the inside fourth followed fifth by a in between running free to fly out wide on the course goes lot in condition now with for kicks helen is between horses night watches at the rail and then back to isadora balaida they're half a mile from home as they take it to the far turn. Bright side of the road now starts to widen the touch. Leads a length and a quarter. Looking like a queen looks for racing room as Elite Appeal holding down second. Have Anita Manana three wide. From between horses, Helen starts to get underway. She'll need racing room. Following her is Isadora Balaita as they run to the top of the stretch. It's bright side of the road who has the lead. Off cover is looking like a queen second. From between horses, Helen grandstand side is Isadora Balaita with an eighth of a mile to go. Right side of the road, still the target on the outside, looking like a queen is second. Helen shifting ground while third, less than an eighth to go. Bright side of the road and looking like a queen, looking like a queen, forging to the lead and looking like a queen and Panici will win it. Close for second, bright side of the road or Helen. Closer after that as well is Adorable Aida and Latin Condicino. Number four, looking like a queen, uh, looks like the winner when it closes to pay $17.60 to win. Owned by Robert Slack, trained by Rohan Crichton, his second victory on the card and ridden a victory today by Luca Panici. The sixth grace, seven furlong seizure claimers, Phillies three-year-olds or Phillies and Mads four and up, scratch the four, go, girl, gone. And they're off. Good start out wide for She's One Mad Mama, who heads off for the early lead. Gossip Isle is sent along. Midnight Miracle trying to race off the flank of these two. And here's Slingin' Sammy B driving through with Bargain Air at the rail. The early trailer is Pippa's Poppy. Out of the chute and onto the main course, Gossip Isle with an early tussle with Slingin' Sammy B. Up to third now is the favorite Midnight Miracle alongside Bargain Air. She's One Mad Mama beaten to the punch today. She's second last. And Pippa's Poppy at the back. They go to the half mile point, two by two by two, half a mile from home, with Slingin' Semi B taking pace pressure from Gossip Isle in second. Midnight Miracle is third with Bargain Air for company on the inside, then she's one Mad Mama, and Pippa's Poppy is last. Around the far turn they go, three furlongs from home. Up front, it's still slinging Semi B. Bionet Gossip Isle is second. Midnight Miracle, three wide, third. Bargain Air now, fourth, two back to She's One Mad Mama. And still at the back is Pippa's Poppy. There's a quarter of a mile left to go. The two favorites are first and second. It's slinging Sammy B off the turn with the lead. Toward the outside, Midnight Miracle set to the attack. Second, Bargain Air hunts racing room toward the rail. Eighth of a mile to go, slinging Sammy B. She's still the target. From the outside in Midnight Miracle flattening out as Bargain Air tries to outrun her for second, but nobody's going to catch Slingin' Sammy B. Slingin' Sammy B by two and a half. Bargain Air did get second. Third Midnight Miracle, then Gossip Isle. Number three, Slingin' Sammy B. Scores from Michael L. Cook, trained by John Vincent, ridden to victory today by MCL Jaramillo. We're taking a short break. We'll be back for race seven, first half of the late Daily Double. Whether you're at home or at the track, have a stake in the race when you bet with Express Bet. Sign up for an ExpressBet online betting account and receive up to a $500 sign-up bonus. Welcome back. Our seventh race of the afternoon, an allowance optional claimer for three-year-olds and upward scratch the six, burn the boats, and scratch number nine, Union's Destiny. And they're off. 
Great Kahuna shows first with Alien Invasion quick away from the inside. Max KO on the far outside is crossing over quickly. In fact, he'll assume the lead as they pass under the wire for the first time. It will be Max KO to lead Alien Invasion, who's keyed up and tugging toward the inside. Great Kahuna is now third, racing in fourth in a very good spot. Early golden decision ahead of Basha. He's a bit keen. Third last and second last is Morocco. The trailer is he's a kitten. And the charge around the first turn. From the outside to the inside, Max KO leads by a length and a half. Alien Invasion was tugging, so he was put into the clear to race after the leader in second. Great Kahuna third, Basha fourth. Back to fifth, Golden Decision. Now he's tugging as they slacken the pace mid-race. Morocco second last. He's a kitten is last as they turn down the backstretch. Up front, it's still Max K.O. and Ray Lu in front by half a length. Alien Invasion is second. Great Kahuna is third. Bosch is in the two path, racing in fourth ahead of an inside running Golden Decision. Morocco's on his outside, and the trailer is he's a kitten. That's the seven of them as they leave the backstretch and move on to the far turn. Max K.O. has been in front from the outset. He maintains the lead. Alien Invasion still very much in range. He starts to tighten in again second. These two have two and a half on third running. Basha outside and coming on is Morocco. Weaving into the clear golden decision. Great Kahuna backpedals. He's a kitten as last. And Max K.O. is still first. Off the turn in the stretch drive. Max K.O. set down for the drive with a two and a half length lead. Alien Invasion is second. Morocco on the stand side coming on far outside he's a kitten is erupting late 16th to go max ko trying to hold him off here toward the inside basha morocco on the outside through it all max ko is still there and he went all the way second is morocco third is basha fourth is he's a kitten number eight max ko delivers the knockout punch goes wire to wire and pays 16 dollars and 40 cents to win Owned by Nam Cook Staples LLC, trained by Robert Falcone Jr. and ridden to victory today by Ray Lou Gutierrez. The eighth and final race of five and one half furlong sprint. These are made and claim as three year olds and upward scratch the two, Sunshine's out, scratch the seven, Tom's shoo shoo, and note the jockey on the three is Ray Lou Gutierrez. And runners away. Piccadilly City wins the break toward the rail of Sede moving to challenge. Handsome Chewy away in the top flight and away in third is Taylor's initiation. Some good advice is splitting horses and on to take fourth. Down inside my man Mike. Then Piccadilly City, two and a half lengths clear of the team of Lil Bull, Segus Mundo, and Bravely Bold. And Caramel is last of all as they speed to the far turn. Jose Bautista and a Sede in front now by the about a length and a half. Second is Handsome Chewy who tightens in. On third is Taylor's initiation. Good advice toward the inside is now fourth. Racing into fifth is easy, big easy, with five sixteenths to go. And they converge on the top horse. Asete at the quarter mile pole, still the target. Handsome Chewy in between horses, three wide. Taylor's initiation as they wheel in. Three sixteenths to go. Asete trying to fight him off. Taylor's initiation to the outside takes his shot. These two kick on. Asete still there. Taylor's initiation up on the outside. Asete at the 16th pole. Taylor's initiation one more time. Time, but a set a digging in and a set is hanging on second Taylor's initiation cancer chewy third good advice fourth and Piccadilly City to complete the high five number one a seer wins the night cap for Angel May Street trained by Juan D. Arias and ridden to victory today by Jose Batista And that wraps up the Thursday card. What an exciting weekend here. Tomorrow, Friday, a nine-race card with a special post of 12.30 p.m. Also on Saturday, 12.30 p.m. at a cross town at Gulfstream Park. You can watch and wager on all the Breeders' Cup races from Santa Anita. We also have advanced wagering on Friday for Saturday's card. Yeah, I'm going to be over at Gulfstream Park in our beautiful simulcast center, uh, Silk. So uh, it's going to be a great weekend of racing. Nine on tap at Gulfstream Park West. Boy, you got to be here. Hit the hay. Hit the hay. I've been working all day. Hit the hay. Hit the hay. What do you say? Hit the hay. 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 Well, I'm tired. Let me tell you, Jack, I'm so tired.